This is RG Reviews, and today for you guys, I am here with a, another LEGO Star Wars review. So, sorry that there is no minifigure Monday this week. I've been extremely busy, but stay in tune next week, because I am putting aside time this week so I can make another one for you guys, because you guys seem to like that. Alright, and now, today, I'm doing a review on set number 8093, better known as Plo Koon's Jedi Starfighter. It's recommended for ages 7 through 12 and comes with 175 pieces. Now this set was released in the summer of 2010. I believe it was the summer and also it came with one instruction manual as you can see and I don't know if you can tell in the background the box has got some white spots on it. This is the worst box that I have or like box that's in the worst condition that I have because it got a little water on it in the process of moving and whatnot. On uh, another note, this set retailed for about $24.99 back in 2010, so that's about 25 bucks. And right now, I'm not sure what it goes for, but I imagine if you have it sealed, maybe $40, possibly $50. So, uh, yeah, uh, I guess I can pull the box up here, and we can do just sort of a little camera thing. Trick. All right. It's made by Lego. Surprise, surprise. Uh, it's got the old, old Captain Rex logo on it. There's, see, yeah, it's a little, got some water stains on it. Comes with two characters, one exclusive to the set, and it's not Plo Koon. He came in, uh, for, uh first Clone Wars, uh, uh, what do you call it, Republic Gunship. And then there's some other sets from the time, and uh, the back's fine, actually, surprisingly. So, yeah, there's some of the features and whatnot. So, yeah, like I already said, it had uh, one instruction manual, so pretty basic, probably take you yeah, less than a half an hour to build. Ooh, got some dirt here, don't want that. Alright, so uh, there you go. I believe this is the either second or third Jedi Starfighter that's been released. The other one, the first one I know, this style was uh, the Anakin Skywalker one that's yellow. It's basically this, but yellow. And then Ahsoka's might have came out before this one, but I'm not sure. Hers is more of a maroon. So yeah, we'll get uh, we'll start with the characters, I guess. So let's start with R seven D four. So yeah, get him. Plug one. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Focus that up. Oop. There we go. And the thing I like about all these Clone Wars uh, droids, astromech droids, is that they're different, and they, it, it gives them like their own personality almost. So basically, it is um, it's basically R two D two like the character, except it's got a different color scheme. This being R seven D four, he is Plo Koon's trusty astromech droid. Uh, great detailing on the dome. Uh, you see all the lights beeping and whatnot. But yeah, basic droid rotates up and down. So yeah, it's a great droid. Um. Cool. He, the, he's exclusive to the set, so you can only get him to the set. I don't know if I mentioned that or not. <clears throat> Fit in there. There he goes. <clears throat> and now for the Jedi of the set, or the owner of the ship. And he is Jedi Master Plo Koon. This is the second 2000, or like, uh, or second set that you can actually get this version of the character in. The other version, one is the, what do you call it? The um, Republic gunship, as I mentioned earlier, and then they've uh, remade him now. <clears throat> so you can see, uh, this is when they first started like mass producing uh, different Jedi types. So he's just got the simplest robes there are. Yeah, there's not even back printing on him, just brown. So this is like right before they started making like detailed, detailed characters. So he's got a blue lightsaber, nice silver hilt, and then uh, just simple robes. And this is like a rubbery head. So yeah, it pops right off, like so. Very cool. It's the head itself is very detailed and accurate, which I like. Orange with his little mask, so he can breathe in. He's uh most normal air is uh, toxic to him. If you didn't know that, my only problem with this is that like the gray stuff is sort of like a layer on top of it, and it kind of rubs off easily, like a top layer of rubber, and it rubs off easily. So I got to be very careful with it. I want to keep them intact. Um. I'm hopefully going to get a new one soon, so yeah, that's cool. And, uh, yeah. 
All right, let's get right into the ship itself, the set, the starfighter. So uh, yeah, I'll just keep Pluto Coon out for now. So if we take a look here, ooh, focus, focus, yeah. So uh, yeah, this is actually a set I was excited to get. I mean, because you see him fly him around in like the Clone Wars and whatnot, and it's like awesome and stuff like that. So it's got three legs here, so you can land it perfectly. So yeah, there's that, and this one folds right up there, like so. Bottom, this folds like that. This folds like so. And then, yeah, so there's that. And these are supposed to be little laser cannons before that they put, it's before they put flip fire missiles on it. And as you can see, this uh, astromech droid, R7, just slides right in there as a nice little slot, which is pretty neat and kind of convenient for storage and not. Uh, the cockpit itself is like a piece that it's not a hinged one, so you have to click it on actually, which is cool. And uh, there's a hook here so you can store his lightsaber. And we'll put Plo Koon in there real quick. So I'll demonstrate the lightsaber. Click, simple as that. I don't know if you can hear, but my dog is having like a spasm outside. There must be someone at the door. I'm so sorry. But yeah, he fits right in there. There's a control panel. And yeah, another cool thing I found about this set was like the tail fin is a separate piece. So I thought that was just pretty neat design overall. And then uh, back sides you got your thrusters, which is cool. Uh, Republic insignia there, also on the fronts. Uh, there's a couple stickers. Stickers aren't always fun to place, but they look nice in some occasions. And uh, yeah, the only last feature is the ejection thing, which is this little ball on the bottom. And all you do is press it, and you probably. Did and as you can see, Plo Koon went like flying. Yeah, he went off screen. Yep, just like that. And so does that. So basically the mechanism is, is this is just a part or like a, a rod and you push it and it just pops them right up. So yeah, pretty simple. It's actually quite effective. I mean, he'd die, but I mean, it, it works great for a, for a playset. So yeah, um, that's basically it for this, uh, set it's a uh, great um i don't know when i was i got this when i was younger and it was great to play around with imagine it was flying around so i'd recommend getting it if you can or if you want to collect all the jedi starfighters great set by itself um if i had scored a 10 i'd give it a 7 because even though it's a great set it's i don't know it's got a lot of, a lot it's got a lot of intricate parts but there's only a few of them and it's overpriced just a little bit by like maybe four or five dollars but you know characters and whatnot so yeah other than that it's a great set so this has been rg reviews thanks for watching have an awesome day